essentials. Essentials only. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly, and when it boils down to it, my channel is about fitness and forex. So if that's something you're into, stay tuned because we're gonna get right into it. You do not want to miss this video today. Not today. Not today, no. Because what I'm gonna be talking about are what's in my gym bag. I was about to head to the gym and just thought I would clean out my gym bag really quick. And I thought, why not give you guys uh, what's in my gym bag? Because these are things that are essential to me day in and day out at the gym. I've tried to take some things out, you know, try to lessen my load when I bring things to the gym. But these are things I need. I need these things. I need them. So I'm going to be showing you guys every single thing that I find essential when it comes to packing your gym bag or packing my gym bag, at least. These are things that I need for both um, hydration, my workouts, before, after, all sorts of things, emergencies. So first is the gym bag itself. It's a Sweet Sweat gym bag. If you've heard about Sweet Sweat before or if you're into fitness, you've more than likely heard about Sweet Sweat. But um, I just have their promotion bag or ambassador bag and that's what I use day in and day out because it's a fairly sturdy bag and I use it for holding all of my gym items. Now attached to it I have my Beats headphones which um, I always keep in the case. I always keep my Beats in the case because you don't want your Beats to get destroyed. My Beats are my Beats are over the ear earphone Beats in the color rose gold and they have white you can see like some i don't know if you can see it but like from wearing them at the gym there's a bit of wear and tear on the earphone parts but i do i love these headphones i love these headphones because um i'm not an earbud kind of person when it comes to the gym like i like i like having the earphones over my ears because i need to make sure that these things ain't going nowhere. My music is not going anywhere. There's not going to be a skip in the beat when I have my beats on at the gym. So they're very easy to put into my bag. And that's what I like about them. They're just, they're just, they're essential. They're wireless. I do use the wire sometimes, sometimes I don't, but um, yeah. So next I have my pre-workout. My pre-workout, I always put in a small shaker so this is my small shaker in comparison to um, what I put my water in. I keep my pre-workout separate from my water. I drink my pre-workout first at the gym and then I drink my water after, like throughout my workout. The pre-workout that I'm using currently is called Lit AF. I thought it was called Lit Spud but it stands for Lit Advanced Formula. I just found out this past weekend. <laughs> so that's the pre-workout that I like to use because it has, two. I think it's 250 milligrams or 300 milligrams of caffeine, but I normally need between that range in order for me to, um, you know, just be able to be hype, be hype at the gym, be hype for my workout. So that's, that's what I like. Next in my bag, I have this little bottle of hotel lotion. I don't even remember what hotel, like, I think it was a hotel in New York, but uh, the brand, that's not important. Rose hips and lavender, that's not important. The important thing is <laughs> the fact that I keep this little bottle of lotion in case of anything. So I do a lot of leg workouts when I'm at the gym. And sometimes I'll have leggings on, sometimes I'll have compression shorts. But when I have compression shorts, or even when I have leggings on, like you wanna make sure that you don't have ashy ankles or ashy kneecaps. That's not cute. You don't want ashy elbows, none of that. So just in case, especially in the colder months when skin dries up more quickly, um, if, if I find myself needing some emergency lotion because like my lotion at home, then wore off throughout the day, by the time I get to the gym, um, I have my emergency lotion. <laughs> So that's why I keep lotion in my gym bag. Next, we have this little, it's a little mat, like a stretching mat. That's what it's supposed to be used for, stretching, or like doing yoga poses. It's used for mostly your elbows or your kneecaps. You're supposed to brush your elbows and your kneecaps on them when you're doing different stretches. So I don't use this for stretches, but what I do use this for is um, since the pandemic happened, the gym I go to, which is Planet Fitness, they 
for some of the gyms that they have, they have mats that are on the floor, but some of the other gyms, they have mats where you could take the physical mat and bring it to anywhere you want in the gym. Like it's not affixed to the floor or anything like that. So for the one that I'm currently going to, you would have to bring your own mat and, or, or you would just not have a mat at all. But um, because of that, I don't have anywhere to rest my knees when I'm doing my different stretches or if I'm doing like uh, fire hydrants or donkey kicks where you're in a position where you're on all fours. I, I need somewhere where I can rest my elbows or rest my kneecaps. So this is very, this is something that's essential to me, at least in the gym during the pandemic. Once, um, once things get more normal in the gym and they do have mats again, I will be glad to take this out of my bag because I feel like the least things I could have, the better. <laughs> so that's that. The next thing I have are, you gotta get all three, all three. So I use three different types of leg bands or booty bands, whatever you wanna call them. I use three different types. This first one is a rubbery one and it's a thick band and it's very durable, but it's very simple. Of the bands that I have, this one has the least resistance. So I use this normally when I'm doing like my very first set, cause I do, um, when it comes to my warm-up routine, which I'll be recording soon, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe, turn on post notifications, because that one is coming soon. That's coming soon. How I stretch an updated stretching routine since the pandemic, and it's one that's more effective than the last one that I posted. The last one I posted, you can still check that out because it's still useful information, but I found some things that are more, more effective that I'm using, and so I'm going to be recording an updated video for that. But um, like I said, that one has the least resistance of the three that I keep with me at all times at the gym. And this one is the second uh, heaviest resistance. And this one is the absolute maximum heavy resistance. So these two, I normally pair together when I'm doing my um, my first sets. Then I, when my, with my, when it comes to my warm up sets. And then this one, I kind of finish out my remaining sets with this one. So these are my three bands. I got all of them from where did I get these from? I got them all from at different times from Marshalls slash TJ Maxx slash Home Goods, whatever you want to call it. But they have very good quality fitness bands. And what I like about these are that they're all like all three of them. They're not the same brand, but they are all durable. So yeah, that's it for my bands, which are very essential to me. Because I use because I use my bands at the beginning of every single workout. Right before I get into my actual workout, I use my bands. Right after I stretch, I use my bands. So my workouts typically go stretching, warm up, then actual workout. Simple. I like to keep things very simple. But like I said, I will be showing you guys in upcoming videos my updated, more effective routine because I feel like the routine that I have right now. Uh, post pandemic or not post pandemic because we're technically still in this pandemic little thing. Um, the workout that I've been seeing the most results in since I've started my fitness journey. The next thing I have in my bag are these ankle straps. I need these ankle straps because at the gym, they, at the gym I go to at least, they don't have ankle straps. They have um, something where you can grab and pull because I use it for cable kickbacks. I use these for cable kickbacks. I usually strap them on my ankles and. Um, after my warm up, I usually do like one last kind of warm up set with the cable machine and I use my ankle straps. And like I said, my gym doesn't have them. They have something that is for your hands and it's very uncomfortable for you to try to kind of situate that thing on your foot because it can slide, it can move with this. There's no sliding, there's no moving. Um, there's this little hook here for you to hook the clip and it's sturdy enough for any weight that you would be using. So I love to use these, like I said, for my last set in my warmups. I got these from, I believe I got them from AliExpress actually. I love the color pink, so I got them in pink. Essentials. Another thing that I use is this, and this is, I use it sometimes, sometimes I don't, I feel like I feel like most times I don't, honestly, but I keep it in my bag just in case, is the cell phone holder. It is for, um, I, I think I got this from my little brother, honestly, but <laughs> it's from LA Fitness and you're supposed to strap it on your arm 
and it holds your phone nothing more to it but what the reason i like to use it is because like i said sometimes when i have my headphones on i have the cord and um i don't like to i don't like to hold my phone so i just, i put it in here i just put it in here so it's just easier for me to do my workouts um when i'm finishing up at the gym so the next thing i have hold on let me let me untangle this thing no ma'am so the next thing that I have is my jump rope. And I got this jump rope from, I think it was from Five Below. I don't know if that's a place in other places, but Five Below is basically like a dollar store. So I got this jump rope and it's supposed to be a speed rope. That's why it has this kind of um, plastic um, cord instead of like actual rope, which um, a lot of people use for speed jumping. I normally end my workouts with jump roping and right before I do my ab exercises because I use my jump rope to warm up because I don't like to run on a treadmill and it's just easier for me. I feel like it's very effective for, especially for my legs and it does a great job at warming me up. And that's something that I'll be including in my updated routines as well. I do have a lot of updated routines coming. So like I said, like I already said, if you're not already, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing if you're not subscribed already? What are you doing? What are you doing? I got all this new content coming up. Subscribe. Subscribe. You'll miss it. You'll miss it if you don't. Turn on those post notifications. Don't forget. <laughs> but yeah, so I do love using my jump rope. It was something that was recommended to me by a friend and I haven't looked back since. Except now. <laughs> uh, and last but not least, I have a cliff bar. Now, the reason I have a cliff bar is because, and it's in the flavor crunchy peanut butter. Um, I just like to keep a snack in my bag just in case, um, or a protein bar, because this is specifically an energy or protein bar. Uh, cliff bars, they do have 11 grams of protein. In order to gain healthy weight slash muscle, you need to be consuming a lot of protein or a good amount of protein. Uh, I'll get into specifics of what I do in a what I eat in a day video coming soon uh, to just let you guys know how I normally try to incorporate a lot of protein packed foods in my diet in order to gain muscle. So like I said, that's coming soon. <laughs> it's coming soon. A um, what I eat in a day video. But yeah, so this protein bar, I keep a protein bar in my bag uh, for after the gym or before the gym, if I haven't had a chance to eat before the gym, just to make sure I have energy and calories to burn. That's if I eat it before the gym. If I eat it after the gym, uh, it's if I can't make it home in time in order to, um, in order to drink my protein shake. Like if I'm ever in a situation where I have to go to straight to the gym, quick shower at the gym, which I've never done, um, and go somewhere else, then I will consume a protein bar right after. So that is it, that is it. That's everything in the gym bag. Um, I'm gonna pack all this stuff back up because I got to go. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Let me know exactly what videos you guys wanna see next. Like I said, I, ha I do have a few things coming up, uh, like what I eat in a day, my updated routines, all of that. Make sure you like this video if it was helpful, comment, and subscribe turn on those post notifications because more is coming soon there's more to love there's more coming soon <laughs> from the bottom of my heart i love you bye guys